Sacktown, what's going on? It's Sacktown Pete back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Luke Walton's job is safe for now. So he met with Sacramento Kings GM Monty McNair this past Friday, and Monty McNair told him that he is he will be the coach of the Sacramento Kings for the remainder of the year. So whether you guys like it or not, Luke Walton will coach the final 36 games of the second half starting on Thursday against the Houston Rockets in Sacramento. Um, I feel like this is a no-brainer. Um, as much as badly as poorly the Sacramento Kings have played the first half, just the inconsistency and being up and down um, definitely frustrates me and you guys, I'm sure. I know. I know the feeling. Uh, but the reality is is that the Sacramento Kings uh, owe Luke Walton the final two years, eleven and a half million dollars. So, to a extent, financially, I'm not surprised they want to keep him for the remainder of the season and see where it goes. Um, if it's a complete terrible second half, you have a guy on the bench sitting right next to Luke Walton and Alvin Gentry, who I think should take over for the remainder of the season. In my personal opinion, I feel like they should just pull the plug on Luke Walton and they should have went with uh, just let Alvin Gentry. Um, have his make his impact for the second half of the season and see what uh, they they can do with Alvin Gentry because Alvin Gentry does have head coaching experience, uh, more head coaching experience than Luke Walton, and he's got a pretty good uh, resume and track record uh, of being in the playoffs consistently, uh, which Luke Walton, other than the Golden State Warriors, um, doesn't have. But uh, it is what it is. That is, he will uh, remain. Uh, his job is safe for now, and uh, I've been telling everybody. I think the ultimate uh, goal from the beginning of the season was give Luke Walton this season and then um, address and just uh, dismiss him after the season. So I'll still stick with that now because as badly as I want Alvin Gentry to come in and take over for the final 36 games, it probably won't happen um, unless if it's just uh, a complete disaster a second half of the season, then they might just dismiss Luke Walton and give the keys to Alvin Gentry. But I'm not surprised about this. I know it probably will frustrate a lot of Kings fans knowing that this news broke, that the fact that Luke Walton will remain the Sacramento Kings head coach for the remainder of the season. And we'll see what happens. Um, maybe this is just uh, a test of what Monty McNair is trying to achieve in terms of a, a high draft pick, possibly. And maybe it's just a, uh, a success, or a, maybe it's just a test of uh, Monty McNair trying to see, is it really the bad coaching or is it just a mix of the combination players that we have on our team that are not playing and not getting it done so with that being said the trade deadline is coming up um there are some rumors going on with the sacramento kings as it pertains to uh kevin love I heard a rumor yesterday that they are interested in trading for kevin love i'm not sure what the cost is of getting kevin love but uh, he's a good player a good veteran a good player to have on your team He's got a championship experience. Obviously, he won a championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016. And I'm not sure how much he has left in the tank, but it, it has been reported the Kings are interested in Kevin Love. And also, I've heard some rumors, rumblings about Marvin Bagley being in trade discussions. I haven't heard anything in concrete. I'm not sure if it's just maybe Monty McNair putting Bagley's name in the discussion to maybe see what what they what they can get for him. Uh, for those of you that don't, that don't know, Monty McNair did not draft Marvin Bagley in 2018. I know there's a lot of casuals out there thinking that, well, the Kings drafted Marvin Bagley in 2018. Why did they want to put him in trade talks and get rid of him right now uh, a couple years later? That's not the case. Uh, this was a Vladi Divox uh, pick that the Sacramento Kings did back in 2018. Yes, the same draft. Luka Doncic that they passed up on the same draft, Trey Young. I, I get it. I know. I hate to remind everybody, but yes, I know. But that being said, my personal opinion, I wouldn't want to give up on Marvin Bagley. I don't think there's not. I mean, I don't. I just don't think that he's shown some great potential and promise and growth uh, the last uh, ten to twelve games with uh, De'Aaron Fox and uh, Tyrese Halliburton. I still view Marvin Bagley as a core, a part of the core. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know the actual, how real are these rumors about the Kings putting him in the trade discussion and seeing what they can get for him. But I haven't heard lately anything about 
anything that's in concrete or set in stone if yeah they want to pull the plug on Marvin Bagley. I hope that's not the case because he's still 21 years old. He's still got potential and uh, growth to show, and I think that when you have a star-studded, uh, potentially a star-studded backcourt in De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton, uh, you need a big with them, and I think Marvin Bagley is a perfect fit with those guys to you know get run up and down the court and just uh, make his presence felt. And that leads me to saying that Tyrese Halliburton, I've mentioned this before in my last video, and I'll say this again, the kid needs to start. So Luke Walton's job is safe for now, but I want to see Luke Walton start Tyrese Halliburton. Whether that means uh, moving Buddy over, Buddy Heald over to the three, or uh, you know sliding Harrison Barnes to the four and having Bagley at the five or having Holmes at the five, uh, Tyrese Halliburton's got to start, man. He's got to start. I mean, eventually he's going to be the longtime starter, but he has to start. I would love to see Tyrese Halliburton run the point. I would love to see De'Aaron Fox play off the ball. And I would love to see Marvin Bagley just uh, be in the lineup and just continue to uh, have that chemistry and grow that chemistry with Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox. So uh, trade rumors, another trade rumor that I've been hearing a lot is that uh, Nemanja Bialica and Harrison Barnes uh, are the Boston Celtics are really interested in Harrison Barnes. So, with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if Monty McNair does pull the plug on Harrison Barnes, considering the fact that that wasn't a Monty McNair player, that was a Vladi Diabots player from the old regime. So, nothing against HB. He's balled out this season. He's been consistent. Um, I would love to keep him, and I hope they keep him, but I wouldn't be surprised if Harrison Barnes does get dealt with, and uh, whether it's to the Celtics or another team. Uh, he's definitely been a true professional and showing a true leadership in class on the, for the Sacramento Kings. And with that being said, I'm looking forward to this second half of the season. Uh, we will play on Thursday night against the Houston Rockets, who are on a 12-13 game losing streak. So they're in a funk right now. And my expectations for the second half of the season, not n now knowing that Luke Walton will coach out the second half of the season, uh, I I want to see this team play hard. I mean, I know everyone's saying tank, get the high pick and whatnot. I hate the word tank. Um, there's, I mean, look if you guys look at what happened this past last year season, we got the 12th pick and look who we ended up drafting with the 12th pick. We drafted Tyrese Halliburton. So you don't have to tank to get a good good player. I mean, I get it. This draft is obviously going to be really deep, and it's been projected to be a deep class draft comparing it to any other recent draft probably since the 2018 draft class. But still, with that being said, I want to see his team compete. I want to see his team play hard. Um, I would rather want to finish close to being 500. I don't want to talk about the playing tournament because I think that this team, based on their first half of the season, uh, looks like they'd, they'll, they'll get smoked in the playing tournament. I mean, I don't want to talk about playoffs. I don't want to talk about the playing tournament because they, this team ain't about it. They're not there yet. And I'm hoping that it could change. Maybe the second half of the season, they'll just catch fire. They'll go on a win streak. But at the same time, I don't see that happening. I know a lot of people have been communicating with me saying that, well, we just need, we're only a certain amount of games behind, you know, the ninth and eighth, and uh, we still have a chance to play in tournament. Like, no. Based on this, uh, based on the up and down first half of the season, I don't see this team uh, getting, being considered to be a play in tournament team. Um, with that being said, I hope we finish close to 500 or be around 500. Um, I just don't uh, think that this team has the consistency to get a, a chance to be playing in a playing tournament and possibly a postseason spot. I just don't see it, guys. That's just me. But, hey, Sacramento Kings, hey, Luke Walton, prove me wrong. Um, let's get on a win streak in the second half of the season. Let's see where it goes. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts on Luke Walton. Uh, Luke Walton's job being safe for now. And uh, I will catch you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Have a good e uh, rest of your day. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.